one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Yeah, or yeah, now. Good effort, guys. Great work, but maybe take some time out to practice a bit. Mm, they may not have been the greatest musicians in the world, but something that was really great was their percussion instruments. It's our Art Attack percussion set. Have a listen. Drums, castanet, and this little drum called a rattle drum. If you fancy a set of your own, then keep your ears tuned. For the drums, you'll need some plastic cups or tubs, a shoebox lid, and four balloons cut off at the top like this. You'll also need to get hold of some little stones like these. Ask an adult to help find some. When they go in the cups, they will make each drum have a different sound. The first thing we have to do is take the cups onto the shoebox lid like this. So, what's next? Keep watching. To make the drum kit really sturdy, coat it with Art Attack paste made with equal parts of glue and water and newspaper strips. Make sure you cover the parts where the cups meet the box really well. Once it's dry, you can start to decorate. These drums will have zigzags, but you can do any design that takes your fancy. Now it's time to paint. Let's use blue for the base, and what a great colour. Pink for the top and bottom of the drums looks really good too. And finally, yellow in the centre really goes well with the other two colours. Trace all the lines with a black felt tip pen. Leave one tub empty and fill the other three with different amounts of small stones. This is so that each drum will have a different sound. Lastly, take the cutout balloons and stretch them across the top of the tubs like this. They should fit quite snugly. To play the drums, just pinch the tops. Can you hear how different they sound? Drumtastic! And here are the finished drums. We've added some shading here, which makes it look really polished. Now let's move on to the rattle drum. You're going to need empty rolls of sticky tape, a chopstick and two pieces of string of the same length. And just like the drums, two cutout balloon tops. Put the two rolls together and place the chopstick between the two and secure it with more tape inside and out. Once it's done, it will look a bit like a lollipop. <laughs> but I'm sure it doesn't taste like one. Let's keep going. The first thing to do is strengthen the drum by covering it with Art Attack paste. Add the paper and paste mixture to the outside and inside, but especially on the joint between the stick and the rolls. Using a sheet of plastic to avoid getting your surface dirty, place a sheet of kitchen towel on top and brush it with glue. Keep folding it inwards and adding more glue until it becomes a small circle shape. Now take one of the pieces of string and stick one end into the paper. Mold the paper around the string until it forms a round ball. Do exactly the same thing for the other piece of string. When your instrument is dry, grab a pencil and get ready to draw. We're doing these rectangle step shapes, but you can do any design you like. This drum is going to be different shades of green. First, paint every other section in this colour. Then, with a darker green, paint the handle, then the remaining sections of the drum. Lastly, paint the little balls dark green too. Once it's dry, pierce each side with a pencil to make two small holes. But do ask an adult to help. Roll some tape around the free end of the pieces of string so that you can carefully thread the string through the holes. On the inside, tie a knot like this. Make sure you have enough length left for the balls to hit the centre of the drum easily. With a black felt tip pen, draw in the lines and add some shading with black and yellow crayon. Now attach the balloons in the same way. Stretch out the balloon and place it on both sides like this so it's quite tight. Let's dance to the beat of the drum. You can play this drum with one hand. Or if you've got cold hands, try it like this. Oh, hot, 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 hot. The last of our percussion instruments is the castanet. For this instrument, you'll need cardboard, a plastic cup and a couple of plastic bottle tops like these. If you're set, here's the castanet. First, make sure the top is smaller than the cup opening. 
Draw around the top end of the cup on a piece of cardboard. With two tops held together as a guide, measure the distance between the first circle and the edge of the bottle tops, like this. This is where your second circle will go. Connect the circles with two straight lines. Cut the whole thing out. Get an adult to help. It should look like this. To fold the cardboard, use a ruler to crease the edge of the circle where it meets the rectangle in the middle. Now it's time to attach the bottle tops. Secure them with tape, making sure you place them in the center of the cardboard circles. Cover everything with newspaper and art attack paste, but don't cover the tops. The sound will be so much better. Time now to paint. You can use any color you like, but ours is going to be red for the part around the bottle top and blue at the sides. And finally, green underneath, which will become the outside. Use black crayon to add shading. It works! Our percussion set is now complete. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more Disney Junior shows, click here. To watch more Art Attacks, click here. Of course, you can subscribe by clicking this button down here. We'll see you soon and stay creative.